The New Year's Honours is out and after a historic year on the water, Olympian Lisa Carrington has been made a Dame Companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit today for services to canoe racing. She joins me now. Congratulations, Dame Lisa. How does it feel to hear that title in front of your name? Yeah, I mean, it's... Um, I'm still kind of getting my head around it. Yeah, it's different. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, it's kind of not something that I thought I'd ever be called. Yeah, it's funny like that. I mean, we speak to lots of um, athletes specifically, you know, always talking about how they don't necessarily think about that as a goal or something that they'll, you know, be able to get as a title one day, but sort of adjusting to it, it must be such an honour. Yeah, I mean, if you think about all the, you know, all the other women and men who have uh, received this honour, um, I think, you know, they've done such amazing things and, to be alongside them is really special, but you know, I'm still kind of figuring it out and kind of getting my head around the magnitude of, you know, what it actually means. So yeah, it's, it is incredibly um, humbling and special, yeah. Yeah, well with this year, you obviously became the country's most successful Olympian. It's been an incredible year for you at the Tokyo Games as well, adding three gold medals there. Does something like this just sort of top off the year for you? Yeah, I mean, it's not, I, like you said, like it's not something that I expected, uh, but it is a really nice way to kind of, yeah, finish off the year and kick off um, 2022. So, I mean, 2021 has been a massive year, uh, not, you know, not just with the Olympics, but with COVID and that type of thing. So, I mean, it's really nice to be able to look back and just think, wow, we've, we've made it this far. You're of course joining us from your family home, so have you had a chance to obviously talk to the family about it, talk me through their reaction to the news? Yeah, I have and, you know, I guess it's funny, I guess I find it quite embarrassing, you know, oh this is, you know, I've been, um, this is something that's happening and, you know, I, I guess we're looking at them and it's so special to see their reaction and just how proud they are. Um, it's, and it is, it's a, you know, it's, it's a surprise. It's not something, you know, I'm 32. It's not something you kind of think that I'd achieve um, or be awarded, you know, this, this early on. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're just so proud. So yeah, it's really cool. You say it was a surprise finding out. So talk me through, you know, how you find out when you were told and sort of your, I guess, your initial reaction to that. Yeah, so, you know, I think it just, I you know, received um, a letter and it was, you know, would you um, accept, you know, this honour? And I had to think, I was like, man, am I, do I deserve this? <laughs> so, yeah, I, it took me a couple of days to kind of think, okay, you know, if someone, you know, this is a really big honour and, yeah, I guess if you look back at the things I've done, I guess it's going, well, okay, yeah, I um, do deserve it. So it's, it's a really strange thing because it's not something that you know happens every day and doesn't happen to everybody so um you know the expectation of how to respond or react you know you just gotta work it out it must be nice i mean given that it is the festive season you are surrounded by family at the moment are there any sort of specific plans on how to celebrate uh no not really just um just spending time with each other and i it's it's been a long time i haven't been able to celebrate with my my parents um, since I got back from Tokyo. So you know I've been away away for a long time, and so really it's just about spending time together and enjoying each other's company. And you know we've got um, a beautiful country. We're in a, I'm in a beautiful place. So just really just trying to absorb that. And as you said, there certainly is more to come. You've already expressed that you have committed for another Olympic cycle, and obviously that's still a few years away. But where are you at at the moment in terms of sort of training? Have you sort of got a plan for the next year? Yeah, absolutely. At the moment, I'm just taking a little bit of uh, time out. So just, you know, I, with how big the year's been, it's really important for me to come home and just chill out, relax. And then, you know, the, the year starts again and the cycle of, competing, um, you know, getting back on the New Zealand team and making sure I'm fit enough and that type of thing, it all starts and kicks off. We've got our national champs in April, which is really important. And then we've got our world champs in August. So, you know, it just rolls over like that and it's important to, you know, just use the next 
you know, this year is really important, but use the next three years to really build into 2024 um, and be, you know, the best I can by that point. Yeah, it sounds like it doesn't stop, does it? You've just got so many things coming up as well, but I hope you do get a chance to relax a little bit this new year. Congratulations again, and thank you so much for your time. You can read the full story on Dame Lisa and others who were recognised for serving their community and or a significant achievement in this year's New Year's Honours at nzherald.co.nz. I'm Sheree Kinnear for Focus. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.